Hello everyone, Rivet Raven here, and today we are looking at the Warhammer 40k Elite Edition. Now, I got the Elite Edition because I feel like the Command Edition, you get these buildings and stuff, but I didn't really like the looks of those, and I didn't want to pay the extra 100, I think it was, for those buildings. And I didn't want to just get the Recruit one because I don't feel like you get enough in it. So I wouldn't have been happy with either of those two, so this is the perfect edition for me. And I'm really glad that Games Workshop actually put out three editions so that we can have different options. All right, I'm gonna open her up here and flip it over so that everything doesn't fall out. And this is what you get in the box. As you can see, everything's on a nice spruce and ready for you to cut out. That's the commander and the Necron commander there. And we've got the Outriders here. And some Necron stuff. Some Space Marines. Another Outrider. The dice, very important, and the rest of the Necron stuff. And here we've got some art. Now, I think the art's alright, but yeah, I just wish they didn't have that barcode on the bottom. And there's the other side without the barcode, much better. And here we've got the stands, the manual as well as the sheet you can put down to play on and some rulers and decals. I really like that they actually put the cards for the different units into the book. There's the rulers. I don't think you can see them too well on this video but I'll give you a better shot in a minute. There's the decals and I'm really happy that they put in all the different chapters of Space Marines so you can really pick what you want to put uh, on your Space Marines from this set which is awesome I'm so glad they did that all right we got the manual here and I'm not gonna go through every page that's in the manual because it's quite big but we're gonna flick through some of the pages so we've got some nice shots of armies. And here we've got the Chaos Space Marines and Elder. And we've got some how to paint, some people playing. Ooh, some nice artwork. That looks really cool. I really like it that they've been putting a lot of colored stuff in lately. We've got a map. And we've got what you get in the box. There's all the units there. Another really cool art piece. And we've got how to build them. That's really good that they put that in there as well. So the instructions look a lot like Gumpla, and I don't think they used to look like that, but just pretty much tells you cut out this one and connect it to that one and it's really easy. And this is all the stuff on how to put them together and their stats and stuff and if you set them up with certain things, different stats for different weapons, that sort of thing. And in this back bit we've actually got some extra ones you can buy separately and yeah, there they are there, and they actually give you their stats on this back page here, which is pretty nice. And there's a, another shot of them. So these are the two stat sheets that come with the set, and obviously it's the units you get with this set. And I like that they've done this, because it makes it nice and easy for when you're playing with them. To just have these sheets there 
my only gripe with it is that you've got you do have to flip them over so you've got two on one side and one on the other and I think on this one yeah you've got two on this side and two on the other so that's a little annoying I would kind of just like the them to be in cards but there you go and here we've got the rulers and I'll try and get a good look at these here we go I'll do this so you can see that they're quite detailed. They are both the same, which I think I would have preferred if they had done a Space Marine one and a Necron one, just to mix it up. And here's the decals. Now, they've included all the different, well not all the different chapters, but some of the different chapters. So you can do Space Wolves, Dark Angels, Blood Angels, and that sort of thing. And I really like that they've done that, because it would have been an easy thing to skip here we have the sheet that you can lay down and I'm just going to change the camera for this here we go so this is one of the sides so as you can see it's got letters on the board that you can kind of put down uh, markers so you know they can be capture points and that sort of thing and I've just put some of the models down just so you can have a look at what sort of size it is as you can see it's very detailed um, kind of wish they had just put tokens in instead of the markers, like on the paper, but it's alright for what it is. And we're going to have a look at the other side in a minute, which is my preferred side, I think. Yeah, here it is here. And yeah, it's like this reddish desert side, which I really like compared to the other one. Um, yeah, as you can see, a lot of details again. They got little skulls and skeletons in these little pockets, which, yeah, all super detailed. I think I would have preferred if these had been cardboard sheets that you can kind of mix up and change around. I don't really like that they've done a poster because it does crinkle in some bits. As you can see there, it's a bit raised where the line is, and I think sheets would have just lasted longer. Now here we have the box that comes within the box and they advise you to use it as a playing board but as you can see mine's got a hole in it and that's there because the book was actually put in a uh, long way so it was up against the cardboard and broke it. Um, obviously that's probably not going to happen to everybody and it's easy to fix but you know again I kind of wish that it hadn't have happened in the first place but yeah lots of detail and all that again here we've got the little art card that they put in there now it just looks like this and the other side has got that barcode on it which you probably don't want to look at there it is there I'm kind of wondering why they did that and yeah you can't get it off it is actually printed on there Alright, here's the part you've all been waiting for, the models, and as you can see they look excellent, all of them are absolutely crisp, and just, yeah, really impressed by these.
that has been my look at the Warhammer 40k starter sets Elite Edition. Uh, if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments, and please be sure to hit that like button, that would really help me out. I'm going to be painting them with a sort of red desert theme. kind of want to go for like an Australian Mad Max theme. Um, I'm going to try and do that to the best of my abilities, uh, so hopefully that'll turn out good, and if you're looking forward to seeing that, then please hit that subscribe button, that would be awesome.